guys, I'm Karuchi Tran. And I'm Victor Cruz. And we are on this week's episode of Truth, Truth or, or Dab. Dab. I almost said that one. You almost said that one. That's a Sorry, I'm getting confused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nervous. I don't even know what I'm doing. I just know we're eating hot things. So please watch, you guys. We're on this week, and I'm already sweating, and we haven't started yet. So there's that. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and welcome back to another episode of Truth or Dab, the hot one special where we give our guests two simple options, tell the truth or suffer the wrath of the last dab. And today, we have our first ever couples edition of the program with Victor Cruz and Karuchi Tran. He's the undrafted free agent turned Pro Bowl wide receiver and Super Bowl champion with the New York Giants. She stars in TNT's Claws, and today they'll stress test their relationship over extremely spicy wings, Karuchi, Victor, welcome to the show. Hey. Thanks for having us, man. We appreciate it. In front of you, you guys have three wings and, of course, three hot sauces, various versions of the last dab. When I ask you a question, you have a choice. Answer it honestly or eat a death wing. And, Victor, we'll start with you. Of course. And there's some spicy talk right to begin things. Thinking back on your NFL career, can you specifically identify the most trash cornerback you ever lined up against? The most trash corner I've ever lined up against. I can't. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the people. I can't do that to them because there's somewhat of an honor code that we have in the league. And I can't just do that because it affects people's livelihoods. Okay? So I'm going to have my first dab. This is, I'm scared. I'm nervous for you. You gotta put a lot on there. Is that enough for you? That's a solid That's dab. Lot. Okay. I wasn't half bad. Much better than snitching. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? I'm all right. We're just getting warmed up here. I'm good. <laughs> it grows on you a little bit. A little you bit. know, hot sauce has that way of just sort of chasing you down. Oh, shoot. Ooh. Okay. That's my question. <laughs> my right ear just got a little hot, but that's... <laughs> Victor, while you chill out, Karuchi, this question's for you. As someone who has an obvious eye for personal style, I'm wondering if you can rank these three Victor Cruz fashion collabs from best to worst and tell me why, okay? <laughs> they are his denim capsule collection with 3 by one his VCI sneakers with Pierre Hardy, the Nike Air Trainer Cruise. I'm a dab. And I don't want to hurt your feelings too, so. I respect that. Get a Mer good bite. Okay. Get a good bite on that. I get my lips wet. <laughs> How's it taste? The chicken's phenomenal, by the way. Thank you guys for the chicken, because it's... That was easy peasy. Oh, wow. Bring on the heat. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Wow. Gauntlet dropped. Moving on to the next round of questioning here. All right, Victor, let's start with you again. I see that Karuchi has been helping you out with your cooking skills during quarantine, but I'm curious, what's a dish that she makes that you pretend to <laughs> like to her face, but deep down, you know, needs some work. You just don't have the heart to tell her. Y'all can't do this to me, man. Um, you know, the good thing is we've spent a lot of time together during these past few months and I've gotten to eat a lot of her dishes that she's made and that she's concocted for us in the home. With that being said, I'm going to open up the second <laughs> round. <laughs> I'm going to open up the second round here. Babe, all your food is delicious. I'm going to start. Be honest. This is the Carolina Reaper. Okay. There you go. But See? This is, but that's... Oh shit, that's a lot. You should have sh sh shook it up. I'm not afraid. Mm -hmm. Clean and wings, he's hungry. <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> that was not fun. That one was not fun. Oh shit. Why am I blinking fast like this? <laughs> 
Ooh, okay. Uh-oh. I, Karuchi, on to you. When we had Joseph Gordon-Levitt on the show recently, he told us the story of what he called his auditioning rock bottom. Looking back on your many years of doing Hollywood castings, is there an audition that you would describe as the actual worst in your memory? Oh my gosh. So, I auditioned for, um, what is the show called with Cookie Lions and um Oh um Empire? Empire. I auditioned for Empire for the role of Tiana, I think that's her name. And this was in the beginning of my career, so I was still a little bit like shy and you know nervous and very much green. <laughs> and I had to rap Nicki Minaj um Which song? Bees in the Trap. <laughs> I pray to, I think about this randomly all the time, but I pray that they burn those tapes. Find the footage. If those, oh, Find the footage. I, I just might jump the bridge. <laughs> like, no, it was, it was awful. <laughs> it was really, really bad. Can you give us a taste? Like what, was it no energy or was it just like? It was just nerves and it was like, he's in the trap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. So rapping is clearly not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> My nose right. is running, so let's, uh, let's keep it going here. <laughs> All right, on to round number three. All right, so Victor, you were one of the first major athletes signed by Rock Nation, an agency founded by Jay Z in 2013. Now that you're removed from the politics of the front office, what would you say is the biggest thing fans don't understand about the down and dirty contract negotiation tactics that are used by NFL teams? Oh man, I'd love to talk about this one. I knew it was real when my agent was going after, you know, going and negotiating with teams. And he was like, I, I don't know, I don't want you on these calls because the way they talk about players and the way they talk about the players as if they're just pawns or moving pieces and they make these comparisons of who you are and what type of player they believe you to be as opposed to what the numbers are, what the numbers state. The numbers may state one thing, but if they compare you to a certain athlete that gets paid $10 million less than what you feel you deserve or what your numbers indicate, that's what they're gonna hold on to and stick to. So yes, negotiations are very, very down and dirty in the NFL. No one seldomly asks the players how they feel about moving to a different team or how they feel about their negotiations or how their money's being handled. Karuchi. We're going to you on this one. You're very much ahead of the curve when it comes to celebrity makeup lines, launching K-pop way before this sort of uh, celebrity cosmetic line gold rush that we're experiencing now. Can you give me one celebrity makeup line that is actually worth the hype, and then another one that you think maybe owes you royalties? <gasps> <laughs> but mind you, she's in Sephora at least eight times a month. True. I don't want any drama with anybody from the beauty world because it gets a little crazy. So I'm going to try the Carolina Reaper. <laughs> How's that one doing? <laughs> My whole head is hot right now. The heat is definitely at the back end. I always like seeing that face when someone bites in and then you just see their eyes going from this way to that way, sizing it up, doing circles. Ooh. That's called we're contemplating life in that very moment and what we want to do. Well, the good news is we're approaching the finish line here. The last round right here. Victor, this one's for you. As we mentioned up top, Karuchi plays Virginia Locke in TNT's Claws. But what I want to know right now is, do you even watch the show? In season two, when Virginia shoots Roller in defense of Desna, where do they hide the body? Under a desk at the nail salon, inside of a surfboard bag, or in the trunk of Desna's car? They put him in the trunk, right? <laughs> it wasn't the trunk? <laughs> Eat the wing! It's not the trunk? Eat the wing! <laughs> no! But I watched the show, it was the second episode, or the first episode, no? And then then oh shot roller. We put him in the surfboard bag. Yeah, put him in the surfboard. Lit the boat bag. on fire. And what there else? Was right? No trunk. This might have been before we were dating. Yeah, season no, two. No, we just started. We just started season two. So I should have definitely been watching. <laughs> shame. What a shame. <laughs> I did watch though. You know I watch. But we gotta mix it up. Sorry guys. No, Karuchi, I can tell you're a person who knows hot sauce. <laughs> 
I do. We were just talking about Scotch Bonnet. That's my favorite. Yeah, me too. There's a Scotch Bonnet and ginger sauce that's made by this company, Queen Majesty. It's the best hot sauce oh, in the history of the world. I have that at home. I bought I bought it at World Market, but I haven't tried it. Is it good? It's aw It's my favorite hot sauce, and I've I know hot sauce. Okay, I'm gonna try it when I get home. Ooh, okay. Sure, it wasn't the y'all put somebody in the trunk at some point. I don't know what show you were watching. Sure, I don't know what girl you were. Uh... <laughs> <coughs> this is not okay. That look. Oh man. Okay. That would be all right. It's just a matter of getting there. All right, last question, last question, and this one's for Karuchi. Karuchi, looking back on your time as a celebrity stylist. Which one of your celebrity clients had the worst personal style and needed your help the most? Oh, come on. <laughs> Let me get my mouth ready for this. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm just actual beat that just came down. It's kicking in. It's getting hot. Oof. My mouth is like... <laughs> Your whole face just got like a shade red. It's tingling a little bit. <clears throat> um. <laughs> well, there you have it. Another truth or dab is in the books. Karuchi pumping her fist. Victor Cruz dancing like he just scored a touchdown. Close the curtains. Roll the credits, a pair of hot sauce heroes. It's like moving to the yeah, front of my mouth now. Now my lips it's growing. are- It's everything. Nasal passages, everything. <laughs> we haven't had breakfast either, by the way. So this is the first thing that we're eating. This is breakfast. And we're both gonna have like lava ass. <laughs> Our ass is lava. <laughs> Woo! Good job, guys, good job. That was crazy. Why Why did we agree to do that? I'm just glad it's over. Wait, wait, first of all, how did you not know the answer to the claws question? Well, I obviously watched the show and I love you. They put him in the trunk, right? Eat the wig! How are you not dying? I'm sweating profusely right now and you're just chilling. I got a little secret. I've been using your deodorant. Old Spice Sweat Defense. But that's mine. Ladies first. Yeah, so now I'm going to use it because men have skin too. I'll leave you here to be, okay? Enjoy. For me, sweat defense. Because men have skin too. 